So I've been watching like a lot of like naturalista videos recently and everyone always shows their uh, hair washing hair care routines and I figured that some of you are probably curious as to how I've maintained and managed to have this color hair for six plus years so I made my own. Um, I didn't record myself shampooing or conditioning my hair because I didn't want to bring my tripod into my bathroom. Basically I only shampoo my hair with purple shampoo and then I switch up the conditioner every other time that I do wash my hair. Um, normally I'll use like a really hydrating one, like a one and only conditioner, uh, like one and only argan oil. You don't want to put too much moisture in your hair or too much protein. And I only wash my hair twice a week, sometimes once a week, sometimes I don't wash it for like a week and a half. Um, but Every other wash I do a moisture and then the other wash I do a protein because uh, you want to keep your hair balanced between the two. Um, if your hair is too moisturized, it'll start rejecting the moisture and getting really dry. If your hair is too protonized, it'll start to get really dry, brittle, and start to break. And then I put all this shit in my hair after I wash it, which is really where the hair care comes in. And if you're like me and you use purple shampoo, you may notice that your hair gets a uh, kind of dry from it. So what I do to prevent that is I put in uh, either castor oil or I'll put in a leave-in conditioner right before I shampoo my hair. And that really helps uh, prevent it from really getting really dry. It really just kind of helps maintain your moisture. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go and then you're gonna see me with like conditioned hair. It's gonna be all wet. I'm gonna kind of look all messy. And you're gonna see me put everything in. And that's, that's pretty much it. So what I start off with is my Sebastian Potion Number no. 9 leave-in treatment. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use it this way, but I do because it doesn't really do anything, but it detangles my hair. If you have curly hair, you're supposed to brush it when it's wet and not when it's dry, and that's why when you brush your hair, if it's curly, when it's dry, it makes that weird, like, poofy look, you know what I'm talking about? And then if you, so if you don't, uh, so if you don't have curly hair, you're only supposed to brush it when your hair is dry. Um, otherwise, it your hair when it's wet is kind of more elasticy and it can uh, make breakage happen faster. Obviously, because my hair is wet and I want to keep it trained and styled in one specific way, I'm going to brush it. But to prevent a lot of breakage or potential breakage or whatever, I put in like a detangler first to. Uh, sort of like lube up my hair. Next one I'm gonna put on is Baby Don't Be Bald. I don't know if you can see it, is it focusing? Is it focus? whatever. I've had this since December because I let a girl that I do not work with anymore uh, do my hair for me and she made a piece in the front right here and on the side over here, uh, break off from improperly applying bleach. So another coworker that I had told me about Baby Don't Be Bald because she got in a fight when she was younger and she had a weave in and the girl ripped out the weave and she had a, and it left her with a bald spot. So uh, she used this and she said it brought her back and I've been using this since December uh, and it's it's pretty much it's been working it works pretty well it has like all natural ingredients in it vitamin E and stuff it kind of just encourages your hair growth to accelerate if that makes sense and it kind of helps strengthen the hair that will come out from your cuticles or pores or whatever. I don't know all the hair length in the world just because I know how to do hair. But it's been working pretty well since I've had it. That piece that was basically uh, completely gone is not as long as I would like it, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting to a better level. And I've seen my hair, uh, my hair has been growing I want to say more steady, uh, like knock on wood, uh, since I've been using this in castor oil and my current hair regime. Um, but I also think that's because that as well as like 
I quit where I was working, which was really stressing me out and causing my hair to break a lot. And I was having a lot of mental breakdowns and like just snipping. I put on my Jamaican black castor oil, the original formula. I don't trust the other ones because it's, it, I just feel like the additional things don't actually help improve it. I feel like it helps uh, dilute the actual oil. Does that make sense to you? And what I'm doing is I'm massaging it in at my hairline. Um, and then on my scalp, it doesn't have too much protein to where if you use it after you wash your hair, you're going to over-protonize your hair, but it has enough to restore some shine, uh, help mend some split ends, and uh, bring some life back into your hair. I've been using it for like half a year now, and it's better than coconut oil. It's better than argan oil. Coconut oil honestly sucks. Don't use coconut oil on your face. Don't use it on your skin. Just don't use it. It's not... Next, I'm gonna take this. Uh, this is a hair oil that I made. Uh, it has has vitamin E, castor oil, a little bit of coconut oil, and it has uh, tea tree oil, grapefruit, lemon, some other shit that I forgot. And I just put that the ends of my hair and through the lengths and then I take the rest and put it up at the root in the front. Then I'm gonna take my uh, Cantu leave-in conditioner. This is the argan oil one. I don't really like this version so far. I've only used it three times. I really like the shea butter one. I just wanted to try this one. It does pretty much everything that the shea butter one does, but it says it encourages hair growth and I want my hair to grow a lot faster to make up for lost time. You know what I mean? So I've been using this one. We'll see what happens in like a month. I only put this in my hair twice a week because I only wash my hair twice a week, sometimes once a week, sometimes not at all. Depends on what I'm feeling. And it smells better than the shea butter, but the shea butter one for me, it works better. It's not as uh, thick. It's a lot thinner. All I'm gonna do is take some end mender, uh, which is primarily silicone based, so it doesn't actually do anything for your hair except seal up your cuticle until you wash it again. And I mean, that's really what I want because I just putting all this shit in my hair. Um, so I would like it to be sealed in and trapped and not able to like drip out because your hair is like a sponge. It can only hold so much in before it starts to drip and this kind of helps it not do that. You know what I mean? It doesn't actually fix split ends. Like that's just a misconception. It's not that exciting. And I let it air dry and then I straighten it either the same day or the next morning, afternoon, whenever I wake up. You should never be up before noon unless you're getting paid for it anyways. Just some some life advice. Yeah, so that's it. It's pretty straightforward. I've used the same products for a couple years now. I like to switch it up every once in a while, but castor oil is like my holy grail. Can't use a holy grail. Really everything I'm using right now is working for my hair right now. Um, and sometimes that changes depending on the seasons or sometimes, you know, like as you grow, like your body chemistry kind of changes so you need to try different things. Um, but this is working for me right now. Um, so maybe this helps some of you. If you have really bleached hair and you're like freaking out over it, really just try to invest in some castor oil and uh, can too, like if nothing else, castor oil and shea butter are just really great for like any hair type um yeah okay if you have any other like hair related questions like leave them down below and uh if you like these videos and you want me to keep making them and you want to support me press the like button subscribe press that notification bell because i make videos three times a week sometimes more which is always a nice little surprise. And uh, yeah, you can find me in most places at Pop Goth with an underscore and Holographic Goth on Tumblr. I'll see you in my next video, haunties. Bye.